Hello everybody, Ryan here, and today we're gonna to talk about anchoring systems for hanging things on the wall. Whether it's a pitcher, a floating shelf, or a TV, there's the right anchor to get the job done right. We're gonna start from the lightest to the heaviest to give you all the options to make sure it comes out perfect every single time. All right, so the first thing that we wanna do is we wanna determine where the studs are in the wall. Typical construction, you have studs every 16 or 24 inches on center. All you're gonna need is a simple stud finder. They're relatively cheap and they work really, really great. All you do is simply place the stud finder on your wall flat, press and hold the button, and slowly slide it across the wall. As it senses the stud, it's gonna beep. Just go back and forth a couple times. And when it stays beeping and the light stays on solid, you know you're in the center of the stud. Once that happens, you wanna mark right where this little V notch is. Now, this is an ideal situation if you're gonna hang something, a pitcher or a shelf, and you need it exactly there on the stud. You can just use your standard screw. But what we're gonna talk about today is what happens if you need it here and there is no stud. There is a wall anchor for that. So let's start off first. If you're gonna hang a light pitcher with one screw or one nail, don't use a big screw. A finished nail will work just fine. Finish nail is just simply a small skinny nail. It doesn't have a large head. It can have a bigger head on it if you need to, but typically this is all I use. The first way is if you just tap it and you nail it straight into the drywall. That's really what you don't wanna do in the drywall. I'll show you why here in a second. The correct way to do it is to hold the nail at a 45 degree angle upwards and nail it down into the drywall. All right, so there's a big difference here and let me tell you why. Let's pretend this is the wire on the back of a pitcher. If you got a flat nail, two things are gonna happen. One, the wire could slide off and your pitcher go crash into the floor, which we don't want that. But if you put some downward force on this, it doesn't take much to start ripping that drywall. Now, if we hang it at a 45, this is where science comes into play. One, it's at a 45 so it can't slide off. Two, because of the angle and the downward force, it makes it much stronger and it doesn't really move down. So if it's, again, just a light pitcher, put your nails in at a 45 degree angle and they'll hold nice and tight. So now moving on, we're gonna talk about one which everybody is usually pretty familiar with. They're the little plastic anchors and they come in a variety of colors, they come in a variety of sizes depending on the screw and typically they come with the screw that matches the plug. You just get the appropriate drill that matches the size of the anchor there. You just <laughs> drill your hole, simply take your plug, put it in there and then you're just gonna tap it in with a hammer. Just tap it in there like that, nice and easy. Next thing you need is you just take your drill and the screw that comes with it. And you screw it right in the hole. Now these are nice, they do take a pretty good amount of weight. Now, let me show you another option. They're a metal fixture where they come with a Phillips head in it. So you only need one tool. That's why I really, really like these guys. You need just a Phillips head on a drill just like that. And because they're metal, they go into both hollow drywall, that's what the big threads are for, but for some reason, if you do hit a wood stud, they will screw into the wood stud as well. And screw it, just like you do a normal screw. Now the trick here is do not over screw them, especially in hollow drywall because you can rip out the drywall and then it's useless. They come with a screw that's made for them. Again, the same bit, one tool is all you need for this. And you're just gonna groom it in just like that. Now these are pretty heavy duty. Each one will hold up to about 50 pounds. Now we're gonna move on to the super duper heavy duty anchoring systems. In the past, you would use toggle bolts, but they came up with a new way of doing toggle bolts that's very, very clever. They look just like this. This one is a half inch bit. Now to insert these, you want this to be vertical with the plastic strips and you just stick it into the hole, just like that. Now these two little things here, you want to move them together so that they're even. And what that does is it turns the anchor on the back. You know you've got it right when you pull on it 
and you feel it hitting the drywall, just like that. Next, you have this little plastic sleeve here that you wanna slide up all the way to the drywall. You take the little plastic arms, you pull them apart, just like that, and you bend them back and snap them off. You can take your bolt, put it into the piece that you're gonna be hanging, and go right into that hole and screw it nice and tight. All right, now, I hope this really helped you to understand the different types of anchors and where to use them. And if you have any other ideas or questions, please check us out on designingspaces.tv.